Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. The kitchen is the center of activity in most households. Here you go, Megan. Thanks, Pete. Think of the hours that you spend here, cooking, cleaning, and socializing. Unfortunately, it's also the place where most home accidents occur. Every year, kitchen accidents and fires are responsible for thousands of trips to hospital emergency rooms and visits from local fire departments. Now, are there hazards lurking in your kitchen? No matter how careful you are, there are probably one or two things that need attention, especially if you have children or elderly in your home. That's right. Now, there are countless tips and suggestions for ways to make kitchens safer. They're everywhere. They're on TV and magazines, on the internet, you name it. We can't possibly cover everything, but here are some suggestions that top our list of kitchen safety do's and don'ts. The first rule of the kitchen is to never leave the room if you have something cooking on the stovetop. According to the National Safety Council, unattended pots is the number one cause of cooking fires. Keep flammable items, including dish towels, paper, or plastic bags, pot holders, and curtains away from the stovetop. They could catch fire. Avoid wearing loose-fitting clothing like long, open sleeves when you're cooking. They can be ignited by a hot burner or get snagged on pots and pans. Turn pot and pan handles inward so small children can't reach up and pull them off the stove. To reduce the risks of electrical shocks in the kitchen, every countertop outlet plus every outlet within six feet of the sink should be protected with a ground fault circuit interrupter, or GFCI. A GFCI is a fast-acting circuit breaker designed to shut off electric power to an outlet in the event of a ground fault. Now, if you don't have GFCIs in the kitchen, hire an electrician to install them, and be sure you test them regularly. Keep hot items like beverages and trays that have just come out of the oven away from the edge of counters where children can reach them. Use tablecloths and decorations with care. Burns from hot liquids and foods often occur when children get a hold of hanging tablecloths or placemats. Remove the lids or other coverings from microwave food carefully to prevent steam burns. Things cooked in a microwave can be dangerously hot when you first pull them out of the oven. Set your hot water heater at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This will help reduce the chance of getting accidentally scalded from tap water that's too hot, and it also will help you save energy. A fire extinguisher should be located in the kitchen. It should be in plain sight, away from cooking equipment, and 15 to 48 inches above the floor so that someone could easily reach it in an emergency, but be sure it's high enough to be safely out of reach of young children. If you have an older gas appliance, take a moment to check the connectors fixing it to the gas line. Flexible metal connectors, especially those made of uncoated brass, can weaken or crack over time, causing a dangerous gas leak. If your appliance is more than 25 years old and has a brass connector, it should be replaced. Make sure the new connector is stainless steel and certified by an accepted approval agency, such as CSA International or International Approval Services. And don't ever use a gas oven or range to heat a room. It will deplete oxygen from the air, causing possible asphyxiation or deadly carbon monoxide poisoning. Finally, a few child-proofing tips. Things you can do today to prevent accidents tomorrow. Add a locking strap to your oven, refrigerator, and dishwasher. In addition to opening a conventional or microwave oven and getting burned, your kids might open the dishwasher, pull out a knife, and get cut. Or pull something unsafe out of the refrigerator. Install protective covers on any stove knobs that are easily accessible to children. They simply slide behind the knob to prevent it from being pushed in and turned on. Install a safety gate to keep toddlers out of the kitchen when you're cooking or otherwise distracted. And last but not least, put childproof latches and hooks on all kitchen cupboards, especially ones that hold cleaning fluids and chemicals. The kitchen is the center of activity in most households, so keep your family safe by always keeping safety in mind. Great idea. And don't go away in just a minute. We'll open the mailbag and answer a few of your letters and emails.